Well, residents at a town of Carroll Trailer Park are alleging negligence on the part of their landlord after nearly 10 years of issues that are now coming to a head. As our Julia Gress reports, some at Brookside Estates claim their landlord is committing tax fraud, operating without a permit, and ignoring water and septic safety issues. Julia Gress with more at What's at Hand. They have trailers in here that are registered to people that are deceased or to people that don't live in here or trailers that are no longer in here. Tim Lip and Brandy Bartlow claim that even though the county tax assessor has been made aware of the issues, the assessor says his office could not force the owners to provide an updated list of each lot's value yearly. Though residents have brought the issue to the town of Carroll, the supervisor, the county tax assessor, and legislator, violations have been piling up for nearly 20 years. The gentleman that lived in lot 66, he passed away in 2000. And, 11 and his name is still on the tax assessment sheet in here. However, that's not the biggest issue the two are highlighting. Lip and Barlow also disclosed their dire water situation in the trailer court and that they are still being charged for unusable water. I've had the water in my home uh, numerous times come out looking like a mud puddle for long periods of time. They would tell me to just let it run. It'll clear up after a while. Yeah, no. <laughs> No, it doesn't clear up. Bartlow, who has a two-month-old, purchases water instead of allowing her child to drink the provided water. Lip also says that the dirty water has caused many residents to have to replace their hot water tanks. She had to replace her hot water tank. It's a 40-gallon gas. When they went to take it out of there, they went to drain it. Out of a 40-gallon tank, they got eight gallons of water. And when they went to take it out of there, it weighed like 500 pounds because of all the sediment from the crap just being pumped into the hot water tanks. They also claim that the original owner knew about the water issues before selling the property and that this information was given to the buyer, Robert Morgan. Residents also brought the owner's lack of permit to operate to attention, saying that without a working sewage and water system, they are not legally allowed to charge rent. When we went to court right before COVID happened, they submitted a post-dated permit for May 9th. I think, of 2019. Yeah, they still don't have that permit. Though residents are being charged over $400 a month to occupy the lot, neither their septic or water systems work properly. Do you know we have the number one sewage spill in Chautauqua County right now, right over there in that field? A little ways right away from our three wells. One which has already been shut down because it was contaminated and we can't get them to go in and test the other two wells. Julia Grass, WNY News Now. Julia, thank you. Due to the age of their trailers, Leap and Bartlow tell us they're unable to move to a better location. Bartlow has filed a civil suit with Carroll Court stating that 74 violations of negligence on part of the landlord.